Hello guys, DJ Aaron here. If you guys are looking at my desktop right now, you guys might see something different. Well, a couple of different things. I got Specky and the brand new iTunes. Yes. I decided, well, I'm going to upgrade to the new iTunes because I can. And it is pretty cool when you think about it because um, this is the first time I've ever upgraded to a newer iTunes than the older version. But first, let's take a look at Specky. And yes, it just blasted my ears out. So the one thing we're going to look at when we open up Specky for the first time while it's gathering things, which I think every computer should have this, this actually tells you ex exactly a lot about your computer, whether you're a novice at um, checking out your computer. Right here you have your uh, operating system, which you guys can see that. And the Athlon um, 64X2, 3800, uh, Windsor Technology. Um, two, gigab two gigabytes of uh, DDR2 RAM in single channel mode, and uh, yeah. Asus Tech Computer Company. This is the uh, motherboard, um, which is running at 40 Celsius. Uh, graphics, which is the NVIDIA GeForce uh, 6150. LE, which is, uh, unfortunately not going to be, uh, turned on as of tomorrow, which I'm getting a video card for this, uh, computer. Our storage drives, we have three storage drives, one Seagate Barracuda, which is, uh, 80 gig, but it's 74 gigabytes available free space. Uh, which is split up into two partitions, and you'll probably see why. And we have the Western Digital Caviar Green Drive, which is uh, 465 gigabytes uh, available capacity. Between these two drives, I know it says available capaci capacity. And then the 298 gigabytes which this is a true 320 gigabyte drive, but capacity is 298. So as you can tell, there's the temps and stuff like that. And we can also full screen this as well if we want to get a better uh, idea of how it is and how it looks. This is pretty should I say, pretty neat uh, software. It tells you a lot about the computer you have and a lot of the uh, stuff. Now this is just a summary. And I have two optical drives right here. And they're both uh, HP optical drives. Um, they're just labeled differently there. And then I have Realtek High Definition Audio, which is HD audio. So we can go up to CPU and it will show exactly your total specs about your CPU. And it's a very useful tool. Now my CPU is running at 46 Celsius, which is normal for this uh, type of CPU. It's in the um, yellow range, which means its temperature is cool for its average temp. Um, hotter it would be in the red. So this is running uh, I should say above I'd say normal temperatures so far. Then we got the RAM. We could actually see uh, what kind of RAM we have. We have total RAM memory slots which is four only three are being used 
and one is free. So that gives you a good indication. And all this is DDR2 RAM and sizes. Um, 2048 megabytes of uh, all together, which is 2 gigs of RAM. Um, DRAM frequency is, you know, it just bounces back and forth, so it just uses whatever it uses. Cycle time, 12 clocks, basic stuff. RAM it usually stays around 61% uh, because I'm doing a uh, screen share uh, or screen capture video uh, which can use up a little bit more. Total physical 1.94 gigabytes and available physical is 767 it, 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 it bounces around um, total virtual is 3.87 gigabytes. Available virtual is 224. Or, sorry, 224 uh, gigabytes. Three, 387, that sort of thing. Um, number of SPD modules. It lists only three. So we could go down and we can list each one. And I got the one gig stick in slot one, which we have that. We could uh, see uh, what year the RAM stick was made. So it was made in 08 and on the 21st day. So, or it could be the 8th of August on the 21st day, depending on uh, how you look at it. This one is uh, 0616, which could be on the 6th month or the 16th day, depends <laughs> how you look at it. And slot 3, 616, same, same date, week or year. Depending on, yeah, it says week slash year. So, year 06, uh, 16th week. So, yeah. The first one is made in 08, and the, these two are made in 06. Uh, when the computer was new. So, yeah, that's, that's a very nifty tool. Moving on, we have Motherboard. And it gives you the rundown of what's on the motherboard and all that stuff and the system temperature is 40 C which is normal for uh, operating temperatures so that is good you can see the version of the BIOS and when it was dated 61406 and all that good stuff you can see the different slots which is very cool when you think about it. Okay, so moving on. We have graphics. Now, this is the HP uh, named for, for this computer. NVIDIA GeForce 6150LE and it shows you exactly how my display is. Um, which is very cool. It does that. And release date was June of 06. So that's really cool. Current performance level, level zero. And it uh, has a sub vendor, which is HP. And uh, yeah. So GPU clock is 425 megahertz and memory clock is 532 megahertz. Uh, not bad. Physical memory is 64 megabytes. Yeah, this is at a this is at a, a sad point in um, board graphic graphics. 64 megabytes of video memory. 
and virtual memory is 800 megabytes. I mean, it still has room to spare, but not much when you think about it. So, yeah, that's the graphics. I know my graphics are kind of weak, but that's what you get for onboard video. Anyways, but uh, a video card is coming, by the way, and uh, we'll see the new card in Specky here soon. Optical drives, like I said. Um, this is uh, the optical drives. Um, name, DVD reader. This is, It's reading the DVD-ROM first. Um, so you can see exactly how that is. Okay, and a media type uh, DVD writer. And it shows the name and all that stuff. So it doesn't show the vendor because I know the vendors. Um, I know the vendor is uh, HP, so uh, they make their own DVD drives. Audio, like I said, sound card, real tech, high definition audio, Microsoft Life Cam Studios. It lists the uh, webcam as a sound card as well, which is nice. Playback devices, uh, speaker, Realtek high definition audio, Realtek um, digital output. Uh, you know, you could hook a uh, digital coax cable in there and it will work just perfect. Microphone, Realtek high definition audio, desktop microphone, which is the life cam, and the line in, which we have all that, so it's pretty good. And right here is your mouse and keyboard settings and all your goodies for the computer. Um, it does uh, list vendor as generic for the SD card reader, for all SD card readers. And uh, so yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty good, I would say. And then we have driver name window. Microsoft XPS document writer da, 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 da. so it does scroll up very slowly because I got uh, you know all that network I won't go into that because it shows IP addresses and stuff like that operating system I won't go there because it shows the uh, the serial number and all that stuff so um, I won't go into that I don't want anybody to take my cereal. So, anyways, that is Specky. Now, moving on, check Skype first. Let's check that. <laughs> Garrett, Mr. Compliz. Okay, now moving on. Oh, yes, iTunes. Now, since the new iTunes came out, I decided, well, I am a few days late on downloading it but I got it anyways I just downloaded it and installed it yesterday and so far it's been somewhat great uh, I mean I had a bug crash uh, yesterday so there's iTunes um, and again I don't mind the new interface very much I mean I mean, I set it up to what I wanted it, you know, what I want out of it. There's all my music. I have a lot of songs, so I'm not going to go through it all, but I really like the new iTunes. Um, most people hate it. I kind of like it. Um, I was kind of hoping for a iTunes 12 uh, release for Windows and they finally did it so this is pretty cool and we could go about iTunes and we can see that um, it is version 12.0.1 which is the very first version of version 12 um, when they start releasing more fixes and updates um, the version number will change along with it so that's going to be nice. I got the very first version of version 12. Very nice. And this is to uh, landmark the new uh, macOS um, 
Yosemite 10.10 .10. so they t totally did the revamp of the logo I kinda like it I kinda like the red more over the blue and um, yeah I'll be sure to use this for my iPod Nano because it is compatible with older iPods so it's not uh, incompatible it's compatible with older iPods as well so that is one of the reasons why I got it and um, yeah so other than that there really hasn't been much going on except for uh, doing a little bit more software wise to the computer um, when you know all this is still the same and uh, all that so yeah that's iTunes and also I got virtual DJ 8 so if you guys are wondering what am I doing with virtual DJ 8 well I decided to give it another chance so as soon as it loads there it is virtual DJ 8 I figured since I have Windows 8.1 I have full compatibility of virtual DJ 8 so yeah that's gonna be cool now there we go you have been updated okay yes what did I just agree to do <laughs> anyways it's just updating virtual DJ wow alright it just closed it so what it's doing right now is it's updating and it reopened so it's just updated okay that's cool so we could go to a drive which has my music on it which is the, the passport and yes it is a bit slow hey motherfuckers I'm video here anyways <laughs> I hate it when I get called and during a video. So anyways, there's Virtual DJ um, 8. So anyways, that is it for the video. I'm getting it fucking interrupted. So anyways, peace out, practice, and enjoy.